The woolly mammoth, the dodo bird, the Tyrannosaurus rex, these are just a few of the ancient legendary creatures that we know once existed, but have been extinct for a very long time. It's too bad that we'll never be able to experience them in real life. Or will we? As it turns out, science is already working on resurrecting these incredible creatures and a bunch more. If you're a fan of Jurassic Park, you're gonna love this. This video is sponsored by Scentbird. Scentbird is a monthly perfume subscription service that delivers the latest perfumes and colognes. It allows you to explore over 600 designer fragrances. You pick a scent, you get the subscription, and you receive your fragrance. It's that simple. This month, I received Dime Number no. One Two Man Chill and Source Adage. They even come in these cool little bags. Check that out. Each fragrance comes in its own unique colored bottles. And the best part is each bottle comes with a generous amount of fragrance, so that's going to last you a long time. On top of that, each bottle comes with its own descriptive card explaining which each one smells like. Two Man Chill smells like lime, cardamom, black pepper, lavender, rosemary, and amber. Ooh, I gotta try that. Source of Dodge smells like rose, iris, pink pepper, sandalwood, and amber. And the last one, Dime Number no. 1, smells like sandalwood, zesty bergamot, and amber musk. I might try that today. And Scentbird carries some of the finest fragrances like Gucci, Prada, Dolce & Gabbana, Versace, and not only that, but if you're not quite sure what scent that you want, you can always go on their website and take their quiz. It'll tell you which scent is the best fragrance for you. The quiz takes no time at all, and the best part is, is you get detailed results just for you. So if you're interested, click the link in the description and use my coupon code SANTORO for 55% off. You get a massive selection of fragrances for a little over $7 for your first month. It's available in the United States and Canada, and you're not only getting an incredible deal, but you're also helping to support me and my videos. Enjoy, and let's start the video. Here are seven extinct animals that are being resurrected. Number seven is the woolly mammoth. Woolly mammoths roamed the cold tundra of Europe, Asia, and North America from about 300 thousand years ago up until about 10,000 years ago. Scientists still debate exactly why mammoths went extinct, but theories put forward include viruses, meteor strikes, and human hunting, but the most likely is believed to be climate change, which reduced their main food source, reducing their population and sealing their fate. However, a biotech startup named Colossal Laboratories and Biosciences aims to change that. Their aim is to combine mammoth DNA found under the ice in Siberia with that of a modern-day elephant creating what will be known as the mammophant. Using CRISPR gene editing technology, Colossal's goal is to rewild the Siberian tundra with mammoths by the year 2027 for the purpose of conservation and to restore the ecosystem back to when mammoths roamed. Number six is the saber-toothed tiger. Saber-toothed tigers lived during the Pleistocene epoch, appearing in the fossil record about 800 thousand years ago and went extinct between 8,000 and 10,000 years ago. They were much bigger than people realize about the size of a modern polar bear. It's believed that they went extinct for the same reasons as the woolly mammoths as the ice age drew to an end and their prey began to die out. But in 2020 scientists actually mapped out the DNA of the saber-toothed tiger for the first time and since then there's been great interest in the scientific community in resurrecting them. But the largest barrier at the moment to fulfilling the resurrection of these beasts is that unlike the mammoth, there hasn't been enough actual DNA recovered to work with. However, with modern advances in technology, there may come a day very soon that a way around this problem is discovered, and we may, for the first time in 10,000 years, actually see a real saber-toothed tiger walk the earth. Number five is the dodo bird. The last confirmed sighting of the dodo bird was in 1662, over 360 years ago. While not as ancient as the other animals on this list, the dodo is just as legendary and is definitely a household name. Interestingly though, scientists don't fully know exactly what this bird looked like and have to go off of historical paintings to see its likeness. For many years, whether the dodo even ever existed was hotly debated, but in 1832 scientists discovered several sets of dodo bones on the island nation of Mauritius. And not only that, but even more were discovered as recently as 2005 on the same 
Island. Originally discovered by Dutch soldiers around 1600, the dodo became extinct less than 80 years later because of deforestation, hunting, and destruction of their nests by the animals brought to the island. According to evolutionary molecular biologist Beth Shapiro, a professor at the Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology at the University of California, Santa Cruz, there's a number of reasons why dodos would be complicated to resurrect, including but not limited to a lack of good candidates for cloning. This is because there are very few sources of dodo DNA, as well as bird reproduction is really complicated to begin with, and there isn't necessarily a habitat for them to go back to. But Colossal Laboratories and Biosciences, the same company as previously mentioned, wants to be the ones to resurrect these birds, and although many challenges lay ahead, they remain confident it will happen in our lifetime. Number four is the ground sloth. The ground sloth died out about 10,000 years ago as a mixture of climate change and human hunting took their toll. They were a group of mammals that lived in the Americas for millions of years. Their fossil remains resemble a giant bear and were closely related to the slumbering modern day three-toed sloths. DNA samples have already been extracted from their intact hair remains that were discovered by scientists which could result in their resurrection within the next decade if we so chose to put resources behind it. The biggest issue is that the only surviving relatives of the ground sloths are much more tiny by comparison, so finding a surrogate mother is essentially impossible. The most likely outcome if we did decide to bring these creatures back would be to create an artificial womb, which is very achievable with current technology. Number three is the dire wolf. It seems like a creature of legend of the mythological show Game of Thrones, but the dire wolf really did exist and it may actually come back. The oldest record of the dire wolf dates back 250,000 years ago, with them going extinct approximately 10,000 years ago. Scientists believe that when the megafauna started dying because of climate change, the dire wolf had trouble competing with the gray wolf, and when it came to catching smaller prey, etc., the species went extinct. In 1987, a woman named Lois Schwartz created the Dire Wolf Project with the goal of creating domesticated dogs that resembled the large prehistoric dire wolf, but which had a calm, compassionate character. Unfortunately, dire wolf DNA has yet to be found, so a one-to-one -one replication is unlikely to happen. However, creating a new age of animals that has similar characteristics is the goal, and in that regard, we may have actually already succeeded. The American Alsatian was bred from a purebred Alaskan Malamute and German Shepherd. Scientists have actually already sequenced the dire wolf's DNA, but with the same case as the saber-toothed tiger, without any actual DNA, there are tremendous complications and the American Alsatian is probably the closest thing we're gonna get for now. Number two is the Neanderthal. Neanderthals were a subspecies of archaic human who lived in Eurasia about 40,000 years ago. The reasons for their extinction are greatly disputed but include theories such as small population size and inbreeding, competitive replacement, interbreeding and assimilation with modern humans, climate change, disease or a combination of these factors. But out of everything on this list, the Neanderthal is the most controversial due to ethical concerns, as its surrogate species would be us. Scientists have already completed a rough draft of the Neanderthal genome, so it is possible. However, the question is not so much, could we do this, but should we do this? We could essentially be cloning a human for all intents and purposes, which as previously mentioned, leads to ethical concerns. Some important considerations resulting from a successful clone would be whether sports would allow the stronger Neanderthal to take part, whether the resulting children would find peers among human children, etc. These questions are are worth examining and make a fascinating scientific discussion. And number one is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Fans of Jurassic Park, pay attention because your wildest dreams may actually come true in our lifetime. One of the oldest and well-known animals on this list, the T-Rex, went extinct about 65 million years ago. A cataclysmic mass extinction event occurred when an asteroid or comet the size of a mountain slammed into Earth, wiping out the T-Rex along with the rest of the 
non-avian dinosaurs and bringing a sudden end to the Cretaceous period. The current scientific consensus is that dinosaurs cannot be resurrected because their fossils are just too old to provide any useful DNA. But the Adam Smith Institute, a British think tank, has released a new report predicting what life will be like in 2050. In that report, they say several species of dinosaurs will be recreated, making their appearance on Earth for the first time in 66 million years. But it won't be done like Jurassic Park with their DNA extracted from blood-sucking insects that are preserved in amber. Instead, dinosaurs will be recreated by flightless birds, which are modern-day dinosaurs, even though they no longer look like dinosaurs. Deep within their DNA is the information needed for selective breeding that will give them the characteristic features of dinosaurs, the jaws with teeth, the tail, and small forelimbs. So what do you guys think? You excited for dinosaurs to be back? We might die. We're probably going to die. They're probably gonna eat us. Thank you again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Make sure you go to scentbird.com, use the link in the description, and use code SANTORO for 55% off your first month at Scentbird.